Rated M for Mature. From a mechanic standpoint, as well as a breadth of content standpoint, Saints Row 4 is the biggest and best game that we've ever made. just gone over the top with Saints Row 3 and we were wanting to just have fun and that's what we did. We just gave them more tools to play with in the sandbox, more superpowers, more crazy over the top weapons. One of our earliest changes that we made to Saints Row 4 was to introduce the superpowers to the game and it just makes the gameplay totally different with being able to roam around the world, super leap, super sprint through the world, you have all these powers. But then what we started to think about is if I have all these amazing powers and I'm fighting against just the standard gang members like we've usually had in all the previous Saints Row games, it's going to be a very difficult challenge for us to try to balance the game as a result of that. You know, when Saints Row the Third, we took it up to 11, so on Saints Row 4, they want to take it up to 13. And so we really can't just have regular gangs, even if they're wearing Mexican wrestler masks. We've got to go even further. So we've got the aliens. Hello, humans. Having aliens in Saints Row 4 really allowed us to expand on these crazy weapons that we're known for. So if we didn't have aliens, we probably wouldn't be able to do, you know, black hole gun, super overpowered laser rifles, the inflato ray, plasma rocket launchers. None of that would really make sense without these aliens. Damn, I'm good. When designing the rectifier, one of our lead animators had the idea to put a tongue inside the tip of it. Uh, when it opens up, there's a tongue inside and it's wiggling all around. So after I created that, he animated it and grossed himself out so bad that he requested that we remove the weapon from the game. We left it in. <laughs> Every year, more and more games kind of come out in the open world genre. And I totally understand why. It's an amazing space to be in. It's so exciting, it's immersive, it allows the player to go and feel they're a part of something bigger than themselves. The nice thing is that no matter how many people go and come into the open world genre, we always feel that Saints Row stands apart as something different from the pack. There's no other game where you can go and change the gender, ethnicity, body shape, and voice as completely as you can in Saints Row. There's no other game where it says, listen, we've recorded the entire game seven times for you to go and experience with the voice that you want. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points, we can get them back. It just celebrates the fact that it is a game, that it is just fun and bombastic and whimsical, which is great. I think it's great for everybody. I'm just that good. We don't want the player to jump through our hoops. We want to jump through the player's hoops.